Hi again then guys, and so, when we left off, we had gained control of all of these doors. So apparently we've now opened up the prep lab. Let's check the camera. So the prep lab is open. That's where our gun is, that we want to find. So the prep lab is door number one, apparently, and it looks as though... Looks as though it's some kind of raised walkway, perhaps. So we'll have to keep a lookout for that. Got some kind of fire as well, which we'll probably have to put out. Now the problem is, I've got hardly any health left. I don't have any more health packs. So basically, until I find the next health pack, I'll basically die immediately at a first hit. So I don't think I'm going to need to go back down there anymore, to be honest. And we... Oh. And we have a creature. Um, um, but yeah, just to pause for a second. Um, basically, uh, a couple of touches and I'm going to be dead. So... It's almost like the game's in survival mode, so the way to kill this creature... Well, to be completely honest, I'm not sure how to kill this creature. But... I think what I may have to do... Thinking about it, is possibly lock him in here. I'm not sure if I can do that. Let's try that. Let's try and get his attention down here. Aha! So it would appear that we have possibly got rid of him for the moment. <clears throat> so we still can't get in there. This room looks as though we can't really go over there without coming back. So... I don't know. I'm not going to go that way just yet. Just check that he's not out of that room. Nope, okay. So it looks like I'm going to have to avoid that room, at least for the moment. And I think I'll change back to the shotgun for a second. Aha! Uh -huh. So... <clears throat> Pause for a second, and what is this weapon? Whoa, okay. <laughs> a grenade launcher. Ah, so maybe it wasn't such a bad idea. Maybe it wasn't such a bad idea that I didn't use my grenades before. Interesting. So, we've got plenty of machine gun. I'm going to go for the shotgun again for now. Do we have anything in there? Let's swap over to our fire extinguisher. Okay, swap that over. You'll notice probably that I'm using this menu a lot more now because <clears throat> down here I feel as though uh, I need to really pause when I'm choosing what stuff I'm using because you could like die at any second. Okay. <laughs> so we've got a thing down there which is probably going to end up coming out.
We have an explosive barrel. Which I feel like... Oh, another cutscene. <clears throat> good, good. So, hopefully I won't die too soon, because I still don't have that much health. Um, oh, I can hear some spiders in there. Okay. Um, have a quick check what we've got. We've got a grenade launcher now, which fires grenades, of course. <laughs> but, I don't know, that seems a bit more... That seems a bit like the sniper rifle, to be honest, a bit more of a long-range weapon. So I think I'll stick with the shotgun for now. We still don't have any health. Okay. Whoa, okay. We've got some big ones. No. Stop that for a second. Whoa, okay. <laughs> um, how much health have we got? I didn't really notice then. Um, you know what? It can't be bad to use it all, so I'm just going to do that. Let's go back here. Whoop, whoop, out of the way, thank you very much. Um, so I can't just keep running around, I've got to figure out what to do. I can technically keep giving them the run around, but I need to either do what we did just now and somehow lock them in a room, or Well, actually, there's kind of three options. Lock them somewhere, like the other one. That doesn't seem that likely at the moment. We can kill them. That's going to be very difficult, because I've still never killed one of those creatures in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well, it's technically not hand-to-hand, -hand, but you know what I mean. Um, the only time I've ever killed one of those is, as I think I mentioned earlier, by blowing up the barrels. Now, there are barrels in here, but the question is, can I blow them up without dying? Probably not. Now, traditional guns don't have much of an effect on them. The flamethrower has an effect, but it's hard to tell how much. I've never been able to kill one so far just by using the flamethrower. So I think possibly my best bet may be the grenade launcher. Because they're not fast for that long. They, they can sprint, but they're not that quick. So if I, if I could get far enough away from one and then fire it, perhaps, I may be able to kill one. Whoop. <laughs> the, the problem's going to be... Aha! So we could go that way. I'll swing by the health again. Shall I use some more health? We've got three of those. Both of them are there. I can't just keep running around. Watch it! <laughs> okay, um... I've got a feeling I'm probably going to end up dead in here, but I'm going to try and survive. Um, this is very confined. 
I've only got seven grenades, so I don't really want to waste any more because it doesn't seem to be doing that much. So I think the best option is to burn it. Keep the floor nice and toasty. Aha! Okay, now I've actually managed to kill one of those things. That's cool. Okay, I'm not sure what that was more energy drinks. Now, that's pretty good. I didn't honestly expect to survive that, so... I need a weapon! Do you really? Yeah, I'm sure you do. Now, what was that? What did we just pick up? Whoa, that's a lot of grenades. Okay, so the grenade launcher is probably going to be used more predominantly. So that would indicate that maybe the grenade launcher actually is pretty effective then. So, more importantly for the moment, where is the blood test kit? All right, let's do it. Good. Although the problem now with this game is I don't know how much I can trust that because I've done that before, as you guys have seen, and it hasn't really meant much in the long run, because they've still turned out to be, uh... They've still turned out to be... Well, they still turned out to change, basically. So, what shall we give him? Uh, shall I give him a blowtorch? I need the flamethrower. The two most important weapons for me are the flamethrower and the shotgun, for sure. Um, wait a second. That's interesting. Can I... So I cannot give him the great grenade launcher. Interesting. Okay. Not that I was going to anyway, but I think I need the grenade launcher for sure. That's obviously an important weapon. Um... I need... the shotgun is definitely the best weapon for dealing with the smaller spiders. But the question is, shall I give him... Um, shall I give him a blowtorch? So, I think... I will. So let's give him some ammo. Okay. Um... Shall I leave it there, or shall I give him a gun? Yeah, let's give him a machine gun as well, because we can always pick that up again. Okay. Okay. So. My weapons... I feel like the grenade launcher is a little bit too powerful to use in close quarters. So I've got another blowtorch. It's interesting. Um... All right. So we've got another creature out here. Where's that creature gone? Fine. Now, let's stop that for a second. And change over to... the shotgun. Well, well done. <laughs> He's already killed them all. <laughs> okay, now that we are, for the moment anyway, a bit safer, we've got another blood test. 
Okay, plenty of blood tests around here. Um, do we have anything else? Most importantly... Wow, how many of those have we got? Um, ten! Sweet! Awesome! So that almost feels like a stun grenade. Okay, that's cool. That's a good one to have. Um, but it would seem that the game kind of rewards you then for getting that far. And I think that is a good place to end this episode here. So I will see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.